What is up, everybody? Noel and Santino here for an exciting video game review for the video game section of the Noel Comics YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be reviewing one of my favorite games, one of the original PlayStation games. This was the rival game to the original Virtua Fighter. This is one of the earliest polygonal fighting games and it is a game that gave the sega saturn all kinds of indigestion as it cemented uh the playstation's ability to make very crisp well shaded well lit polygons while telling a captivating story we are playing the original tekken for the sony playstation right here Te now yeah, that's right. Now, the cool thing about the uh, PlayStation version of Tekken is that unlike its rival, Virtua Fighter, it's got a pretty cool story and actually has uh, really well done uh, CG uh, closings to each character that were not included in the arcade version. So you were really getting something extra with the console version that you weren't getting with the arcade version. Quality stuff. Also... Um, as you played through the game of Tekken, uh, for each character that you uh, beat the game with, you would unlock a hidden character. Uh, and that's really why you get uh, so many characters in the Tekkens up to this date. There's always been a precedent of a lot of characters, a lot of good gameplay. Now, unlike Street Fighter, uh, Tekken is not going to be utilizing the uh, three-quarter turn, the Hadoukens, the Hurricane Kicks uh, kind of thing. It's going to play similar to Virtua Fighter uh, with the, you know, kind of back and forth, the button combinations, holding back for a certain amount of time, hitting certain button combinations. It's much more about flow and responsiveness to the circumstances of the fight. Now, we're going to start off uh, doing something a little different. We're actually at the final boss here, and this is kind of interesting here. Now, this game, uh, rather than having a protagonist that has an anti-hero, Kazuya. Now, Kazuya has a form known as Devil Kazuya, which in the original game looks a lot like Star Platinum from one of my favorite animes, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> so we're fighting uh, oh, Kazuya right now oh, with Heihachi. Oh, by the way, Devil Kazuya can also be known as Devil Gene. Yes. So there is uh, a lot of uh, corporate fighting, a lot of oh, back and way, forth. also Jin. Yes. Also, Jin Kazama. Yes. So, this game, uh, it really, it's it's all about uh, the, uh, this is the first chapter in a, uh, me getting uh, KO'd perfectly. No, not with that. Okay. It's the first chapter in a long, drawn-out saga of fathers and sons uh, with really bizarre relationships. Uh, they are abusive toward each other, but in their own screwed-up peasant way, they are being abusive under the pretext the of way, making them stronger, which is really, uh, you know, a way, the way that a, not only did they as, as an Italian, this is exactly the kind of crap that parents are due to their children in, in Italy. <laughs> you know, it was the peasant mentality. I was abused, so I'm going to abuse you to make you stronger. But I'm really just abusing someone because I want to abuse them because I was abused. And why should I be the only one? Um, so anyway. But uh, there's all this kind of like warriors, Bushido kind of stuff mixed in there. And the kind of the, 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 the darkness that lies within all of it is really solidified by in the, way, the devil you, gene, which transforms. You, by the way, don't know, this game, this game series, like, even you can tell by the instruction manual, this was look like such a serious uh. This would look like such a serious game, but under the cover is some really goofy stuff. Yeah, no, it's true. Uh, the, the all kind of the 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 kind of edgy, angsty, mid '90s, end of the century storyline that I just outlined, as it relates to corporate Japanese culture in 3D Japanese anime, exemplified in the Sony PlayStation's uh, polygon expertise. Actually, wait, 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 Tekken Eight is an anime. Look, I'm not joking. Tekken 9 will be the next game, hopefully. Darn it! Tekken 8 is a game. Mm-hmm. Like an actual game. Yeah, check that out. Well, at Tekken 7, the, the, the boss of the game is uh, Heihachi's wife, Kazuya's mom. And her Kazuya. bloodline carries the devil gene. By the way, guys. Oh. 
So in that game, um, there's actually a, not only gonna be no and Bison anymore, mm. there's also gonna be no Heihachi. Heihachi. Well, I and, um, gonna have Tekken without Heihachi. They're gonna make a new boss. Like, bro, it, what about Street Fighter without and Bison? Add a new boss. You're right. Street Fighter without Heihachi. Add a, add a new boss. It's simple. Oh, well, and Bison got killed off. Heihachi got lit. Literally, Heihachi. In got the, him! All right. Heihachi in the story. Say, yeah, let's check out our ending here. Okay. Another secret kick that we'll get. Have you beat the game without characters? Yes. Okay. So you have all the secret characters. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Beating the game with the secret character doesn't give you an ending. But we do get these very cool uh, aesthetic clouds right here. So that's cool. Is Heihachi a secret character? Yes, you get Heihachi by beating the game with, uh, with uh, Kazuya. The, the whole vibe of this game, from the uh, like the the techno upbeat synth pop, the bright washed out pastels, the clouds, the crisp colors, this all smacks of like early PlayStation. Um, that it was so good at rocking these like pale pastels and crisp, well lit, well shaded polygons. Sega Saturn had more colors. It had a, a beefier system. You could even say it had a better controller and uh, arguably a better game library, but uh, the PlayStation had its finger on the pulse of the future of game making. And, uh, you know, that really, uh, it led to Sony rising to prominence here. Okay. Uh, let's play another round what, here. What, what, what is, is a Kazuya here? I'm not sure. I think it's just the options mode on this here. Yeah, I... I actually like kind of to see him well we're gonna check out kazuya because he's wearing his cool um uh, uh his, uh, his, uh, his totally jeans and his uh kazuya. cool white t-shirt now fun fact about the development of tekken here uh tekken was uh in part developed by people who worked on the original virtua fighter so a lot of the concept Daddy, the character designs is, like, were from the, the original the, virtua fighter so hang on a second so um uh, Akira, you know, his earlier designs looked like Kazuya. So, and also, if you play Shenmue, um, on the, 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 the tech demo of Shenmue on the Sega Saturn looks a lot like this Kazuya. So I, I really like this Kazuya with the, like the, kind of the, the red and white Chuck Taylors and the cool 80s jeans. Uh, really gives him a cool look. Uh, in addition to being a oh, uh, villainous so. uh, prince of a corrupt it's Japanese uh, corporate warlord here. Look, yes, I love the early designs of this game, too. Oh, Yoshi, oh, Yoshi Metsu looks like a fucking joke. Well, he's, uh, he, he's eccentric, to say the least, here, so... <laughs> This game is also great for not having any load times, and it's also pretty groundbreaking because early going, uh, the the load screen of the game is Galaga. You, it's, you, Galaga. You, you, it's a it's an eighties arcade game. Is it based off this game? No, it was an early Namco game. Or was this based off that? Nope. Okay. Then why is it in here? Because uh, it was uh, a you know a CD based game which required loading, but um, you know it, it gave you something to do while the game was loading here. Oh my god! I, I, if you beat this game, can I wanna I really wanna play as a character, please? Who do you wanna play as, Santino? Well, the guy law, martial law. Yeah, martial law. Well, Santino, why don't we? Uh, we'll see if we can beat him here. We probably won't. Hang on, see if I can uh, soft reset this here. No, we'll just reset the game. So you want to play as Law, eh? Yeah. All right, hold on. He's like one of my favorite good guys. I, I really like the guys that fight like Bruce Lee. Ah, That's right. really why. I've, um. All right, Santino, we're gonna close off this review with a little bit of Law demonstration. Did you want to try to play as him?
Yeah. All right, hold on. So this right here is what I was talking about here. You can play some Galaga while the game boots up here. I'll play some Galaga. I'll play? There you go. So Santino's got the controller now. Well done. Okay. Let's start. All right, now don't hit start. We don't want to skip. I want to show our viewers the very cool attract mode uh, because this really shows off what the PlayStation could do here. What's the attract mode? And what you're looking at right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, the wrestler. Yes, that is King. King, the wrestler. And who the heck is that? Uh, it's uh, Michelle. There's uh, Martial Law, right? I like Martial Law. There's Nina. Nina? There's okay. Paul with his porn left uh, haircut from JoJo's Bizarre yeah. Adventure. That was actually Guile's original design. That's why Guile is called Guile, because he's supposed to be named after Jay Guile, the guy who killed porn left's sister. Right. But they decided to go with Stroheim, the Nazi cyborg's hair. Um, yeah, true story. Hang on, Santino. The upbeat, just kind of poppy techno music. I just I love it here. All right, so you want to play as martial law? Yeah. There you go, buddy. Okay. Santino's uh, got the controller here. Okay. See if I can... I'm going to always try to beat King, all right? All right, see what you can do, man. It works, Santino. This is an old game, too. All right, Santino. Good work, my friend. You win. Oh, you, you can also have a Oh, thank you. I got the controller now. Let's see how this goes here. This is Paul Phoenix. But you should not mess with Paul Phoenix. Santino, you know, I think you're better with martial law than I am here. Yeah. I'm, go I'm good. Ooh, with man. I'm good. Let me try that one more time here. This was like very long range. And I'm, I'm good. I'm, I am good with characters that like play like Bruce Lee. So you like Fei Long and uh, Street Fighter. Yeah. Nice. I'm like really good with Fei Long and DJ. Mmm. That's why I'm so good with Fei Long and Street Fighter Six. It kind of fights like Eddie Gordo, which is also from Tekken. Mm -hmm. I think Eddie Gordo was like introduced in like three. Tekken 3, yep. Which is now like giving go to. That could have been really bad, but we pulled it off. Um, uh, I should one say, one this one game, one. like many 3D polygonal uh, fighting so games of the time here, I love this level, um, it, it plays with kind of floaty to physics. Try to do that. So compared to Tekken 3, Tekken 3 is a much more fluid, faster paced gameplay. Okay. This game feels this, mildly this game like it, 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 it kind of feels like it not quite takes place in water, but there is oh, definitely a, a floatiness to the physics of this here. All right. Man, look at that, just how crisp and bold and vivid these colors are. That is just nuts. I mean, we're playing this on a professional video monitor, but this game is really beautiful. All right, this girl was like Michelle very hard. Using her, or the power of her early 90s, 1980s high-waisted jeans to suplex Santino into unconsciousness. But I will see if I can get revenge for my uh, my handsome son here. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good with martial law. If you want, you can hit the select button to kind of change the angle sometimes uh, when prompted. There we go, Santino. Okay. Her mom jeans were no match for my kick to the face. Yeah. Yes. She looked good in those mom jeans, though. There's nothing wrong with mom jeans. 
Yeah. Tina Fey looks bad in them, but Tina Fey looks bad in everything, so. She's a warmonger. But I digress. She's basically, <laughs> she's basically like Miss T from Scary Teacher 3D. <laughs> yes. We throw shade at Tina Fey here. I, I, I hate Tina Fey because I remember one time I was watching Saturday Night Live and she was doing the fake news and like she was doing some story about the military and how, like how they are acting stupid. And he's like, these guys need a war. And like the people who were funding NBC at the time were like General Electric, which is like a weapons manufacturer. Ever since then, I had like no respect for Tina Fey. I say that uh, as I'm fighting a military cyborg right here. So that's a, this is an appropriate rant. In the Greek Acropolis. I love the photorealistic pre rendered Yoshi backgrounds Metsu. here. Yoshi Metsu. Who's also Yoshi. Imagine if Yoshi Metsu. I wonder if there. Yoshi Metsu is actually Yoshi from Mario. <laughs> That's some deep lore right there, Santino. And an interesting crossover. Ooh, we're gonna fight the sexy girl character, which yeah. every fighting game needs Nina. one of them. Blonde. Nice, Santino. Perfect. All right. That was all Santino. That was not me. I'm taking over now, so whatever you see is, uh, you know. Kazuya. All right, he's got his cool 80s clothes on. I've been getting, I've been playing lots of fighting games, so. Uh, Kazuya. I've been playing many fighting games. Yes. And you've been focusing on, you know, stuff uh, like Mother Metal Gear Solid Five, which I haven't played all day. I haven't played that all weekend. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Play it on Saturday. You're right, I should have. I don't know what I was doing Saturday. Oh, yeah, that's why you went to the... Oh, I was at the comic shop drawing all day. That's right, that's why I didn't play it Saturday. Oh, that's my signature combo right there, man. Cause he's rocking me here. Mm -hmm. Santino's taking a turn here. I'm trying to beat Kazuya. Santino's is all Santino right here, so. Come on, oh, come on, Kazuya. I. I, I do like Kazuya a lot. He is cool. He's my second best character in Smash. Um, I like uh, Angel is my favorite Tekken character. I love playing as her in Tekken Tag 2. And she has like a really souped up version of Kazuya's moves. Basically like a good version of Kazuya. Yes, yeah, she's like the opposite of Devil Kazuya. Imagine if there was like an ultimate battle in the story mode of, of Tekken 9 with Angel Kazuya versus Devil Kazuya. Ah, darn it! That'd I was kind of trying to sucker him in. It's just final boss, right? Mm, I think Heihachi's going to be the final boss. Right now? Mm, after Kazuya. I guess I'll try to beat him in Hachi. We can get to him. If we can, yeah, if we can even get to him. Yes, alright. Okay. Santino's gonna try to fight Hey Hachi now. This is not the best. Oh, Wang? Wang? Oh, yeah, this would be the character that you unlock for, um, this is, um, Law's hidden character Jesus, here. It's okay. Okay, these are the... That's, that, this guy's really hard. So, now nah, I'm trying it. This guy, I believe, was also a June Kazama's teacher. Who well, actually literally beat both of them, Hayatri and Kazama. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hayatri and... Hi, Kazuya. Yeah. Kazuya. Kazuya Mishima. Kazuya Mishima. 
If you can even beat it. Have you actually beaten um, a Crash game? I have not beaten a Crash Bandicoot game, speaking of uh, Tekken Sony PlayStation exclusives here. And also, not only have I been playing just a lot of fighting games in general, mm -hmm. I've also been playing Virtual Fighter. Yes, Virtual Fighter is good. And Virtual Fighter basically plays like this game. It does. So that's why I got a perfect on Nina. Yes. Alright. Final boss time, Santino. Okay. Alright, Santino's gonna play here. Give it a shot at Heihachi. Okay. I'm losing very badly. Mm. You wanna try again? Yeah, well, I'll right. try again. Let's start. Santino's taking another crack at uh, Heihachi, oh. proving uh, definitively that uh, bald men are the best fighters. I'm trying to at least get a hit Oh, you want to get at least one hit? Okay, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, at least a hit. At least a hit with him. There you go. I finally... I might beat him. Wait, yo, I might actually beat oh, him. Santino. Ah, good I'm, try. I was pretty close. I was hoping, man. I was hoping you weren't just going to get a hit. I was hoping you were going to KO this dude here. You've beaten my heart, too. I have, but You've it doesn't mean he's easy. You've beaten the game with fucking Marshall Ball. Ah, he got me. You've beaten the game with Marshall Ball, right? Yeah, I beat it with everybody. Including Marshall Ball. Who well, I really like. You, he's with um, Paul Phoenix, right? Mm hmm. He's an American, like us. Yes. You know what's so funny? Ah, come on! You know what's funny about this game? What? It... Uh, you know what's funny about every Tekken game? Everybody speaks their own language. In later Tekken games, that is definitely the case. In the earlier ones, they, both, they basically just spoke Japanese and American. Yeah. Paul Phoenix only speaks. Japanese. Kazuya only speaks, you know, Japan. Yes, I got him, Santino. And then, um... Right, let's see if we get an ending here. Yeah. Maybe yeah, do. Wearing his cool Bruce Lee Game of Death clothes here. Look at these fights like Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. So I'm very good at the Bruce Lee fighters. And I really love how these 3D graphics look too. I remember one time that like when like Kazuya throw Heiachi into a volcano. Yes, that is the plot of the game. Santino, you know what I would never do to you? throw you into a volcano, but you know what I would do with you? Review Tekken on the original PlayStation. So there you have it, guys. That is Tekken on the Sony PlayStation. On a scale of 1 to 10, Santino and I give this game a 57. It's phenomenal. All right, you should play it. Infinity. <laughs> yes. You should play it. It's good stuff. And until next time, guys, my name is Noel. This is Santino, and we'll see you in the very near future for more video game reviews yeah, on the Noel Comics YouTube channel. And the Vikings won today. By three points. Literally, they only scored three points. This is, the Raiders scored none. But that's enough. And so is this game. It's enough. Woo! To give you a lot of enjoyment on the Sony PlayStation. Even the games. Yes. Even the games that are 5,000 a billion years old. And this game came out in, I think, 1995. <laughs> yeah. The year of Gangster's Paradise. Yes. It came out in 94, 95. The year of Gangster's Paradise. Bye-bye.